Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Frawley with Beverly Hills Dentistry, and we're here with our wonderful patient, Chris. And uh, so Chris has just gone through a smile makeover, and we wanted to talk about what the process was, was for Chris and kind of how he decided what his thoughts were about his, his smile for, you know, his years and kind of getting to that point where he made a decision and then that kind of ha how he decided uh, where to go. So Chris? Yeah, I've been thinking about it for years. So I had a couple of um, peg teeth that I wanted to uh, get corrected. And, um, you know, when, when you're kind of doing your research, you, you really want to shoot for the best. You don't want to have to go in and, and get something like this corrected. So you really want to do it right the first time. Um, and so I, I started on YouTube and I just started searching um, videos um, to see sort of what my options were and I knew that uh, veneers were uh, an option and um, um, you know Beverly Hills Dentistry some videos popped up where they were explaining the process and explaining the, um, the, the process of a smile makeover so that's really where it started and then um, I did some additional research online mm -hmm. and um, you know discovered um, that you know I discovered the reputation of the Beverly Hills dentistry and, and Dr. Frawley and, and it was very clear from the beginning that um, if I was going to move forward with this process that uh, um, you know that's that, that Dr. Frawley was the dentist that I, I wanted to um, have this uh, have work on my teeth so um, you know, that's 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 basically the, the beginning yeah yeah did you find it helpful um, kind of that diagnostic process we used you know where we gathered all the data and then we were able to, to put some prototypes on your teeth so you'd have a, a good feeling about what what it could achieve in the end you know one of the things that we feel is important is that you as the patient is part of the process you know so the, so that you're gonna get what you want so often we end up redoing people's uh, veneers because they didn't really know what to expect and you know they they weren't able to partake in the decision making process of the shape the color and so that's one of the things we find important and i just kind of wanted to know if, if that helped you in the process or you know absolutely so i mean you know when you're talking about uh getting a procedure done that's really going to dress well it's going to change the way you look um you, there's some fear involved sure. in something like that. You know, if it, if it goes wrong, then you're, you're stuck with it. And so that approach, um, having, the abil having the ability to sort of see what the, the initial vision, um, or yeah, the initial vision is up front and um, not just a, a Photoshopped image, but actually you're able to wear sort of these temporary um, teeth that, that, that was very helpful, and, but it wasn't, you know that wasn't the final product so right. we kind of worked together sure. sort of as a team Absolutely. Um, 100%. to 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 really um come together and and um get a result that i wanted exactly i didn't yeah. want something that um drastically i didn't want people to look at me and say oh you've had work done yeah. i wanted it to look natural um and um i wanted you know an artistry of apply to the process and that's that's exactly what I've got and the feedback that I've I've received um, since I've unveiled you know um, has been wonderful and that's what they say they say that you know it looks natural it looks uh, like me right and that's what right. I wanted yeah. so one of, one of the things with, with uh, Chris's smile makeover in particular was that um, his teeth were undersized for his facial features so part of the process was really deciding on the size and the length. So during that process of wearing the provisionals before we did the final design on the uppers, we kind of played with the length and Chris was able to kind of live with it and then decide, because for a while they were longer than what you have now. Yeah. And we decided, no, you know, you functionally and just didn't feel quite right, we shortened them. So it was a process of, of that kind of decisions that we made together. Yeah. To kind of make sure that you know we got what we wanted. Yeah.